Hey, what's up guys? Okay, today I'm gonna answer a question that I get really often and that is going to be what are the belts that I am wearing when I'm out there on the range? And today I'd like to answer that question because I'm very proud of the two belts that I do wear out on the range. I looked long and hard for both of them and after I got roasted on my who else can shoot 50 yards video because I had one of my old leather belts on that was totally rink-a-dink and, and you could tell the holster that the safari land holster that had attached to it was sitting there pulling it down well i got roasted several hundred times on that video about the lacking of that leather belt so today we're going to show off the good leather belts okay both of these belts came from a website called hank's belts and i did some research on these guys and they make really good quality leather belts for guns gun holsters they have the firearms community in their mind when they are making these belts so they're all very rigid tough and they don't lose their shape and both of them have a hundred year warranty and both are made of course in the usa okay let me start you off with the first belt okay this is the first belt it's called the extreme on hank's website and there's two different versions of the extreme one of them is one and a quarter inches wide and the other one is 1.5 inches wide which is this one i got the 1.5 inches wide version and it's 16 to 17 ounce leather okay so if we look right here we can read hank's belts the extreme made in usa okay so this belt is made from one solid piece of full grain leather and it's made from the North American steer hide. It's got a heavy duty roller buckle right here. Kind of makes a little bit of noise, but it's really sturdy. And we got Chicago screws on both sides, as you can see. So I like this belt a lot. It's really thick and it's got a really good rigid nature. If you was trying to just take one of them, I mean, you'd really have to squeeze hard to try to uh, bend it over. So this one is really good for your concealed carry people. If you need something to attach to this thing, just know that your belt is gonna be very secure. But if you have any type of holster like this right here with that inch and three quarter or inch and a half type clip, just know that you can clip it on here, but because the belt is so thick, it doesn't, it's not the best hookup, okay? So even if you can flap it over, because of the belt's thickness, it doesn't really want to clip on very well. So I would recommend getting a little bit thinner belt than this one if you have a holster that needs to do with this type of attachment right here. Okay, this is basically the belt I wear casually uh, every day around the house and everything. I only wear this one to the range occasionally. Okay, so that's this one. Okay, the next belt is the one that you do see me wearing a lot at the range. This one is called the Enforcer, okay? The Enforcer, made in USA, Hank's belts, 100 year warranty, okay? And you did that, you did that. You were supposed to be still and you didn't do it. Sit down, you sure, you sure. It's okay, I still love you. Okay, one thing about the Enforcer is it's not as thick as the Extreme. They look pretty close, but they're not. Trust me, the, the Extreme is just a little bit thicker. But the Enforcer is 1.75, one and three quarters inches wide. I wanted a wider belt for the range. So this one works perfectly. And again, it's made from one solid piece of grain leather. And this one comes from the steer hide just like the other one is. North American steer, steer hide. And this one's got the Chicago screws on it, just like the other one does. Don't ask me what 38 means. Also has the heavy duty roller buckle, just like the other one as well. I've had no problems with these things, they work great. Yeah, so this one goes well with almost all of my holsters that I have. Now, unless you have a something like this that's smaller than it, it's not gonna clip over it because this is smaller than the actual width size, but for everything else, all my other holsters, this one works out perfectly. I mean, even the my lion steel knife that I wear all the time, you see right here, 
it fits in there with plenty of room left over. So the enforcer right here only comes in a couple colors. It's gonna either be this brown or it's gonna come in black. And actually, since I love this belt so much and it's done so well for me, I just ordered another one and I ordered the black. So I'll have two range belts that are the same width. Again, I don't wear this one to the range as much just because I, I like the belt to be a little bit wider, one and a half inches versus one and three quarters. One and three quarters is better for on the range. And you can tell that it's conformed just a little bit to the back of me. Don't worry about that, that happens. It just means the belt is conforming to your waistline and it's gonna be that much more comfortable when you go to put it on. But I've had no issues with this belt now and I've been wearing it a lot for probably the last nine months. And here's a little side-by-side -side look at both of them and how they compare to each other. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I answered a few questions for you guys wondering about the, the belt setup. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and please go support me on Patreon if you would like to support the channel. Links can be found below. Okay, take care.